Hi, welcome to the latest short video on the emerging futures of education and learning. A couple videos this week and this one, the first one is around the four benefits of digital citizenship uh, and that's the title of an article that's in my latest newsletter. As I go on to say in the, briefly in the newsletter, I think there are many, many, many more than four benefits of digital citizenship. And I particularly want to focus on this, though, that it, it, I think that's a key piece that educators and schools can actually do. Uh, recently, here in Australia, state of Victoria, a lot of talk, and I think they're moving towards banning mobile devices in schools. I think that is a far too easy answer to what is a highly complex problem. And what we can do more importantly is actually teach some of the key elements around digital citizenship. What is it? What does it mean to be a good digital citizen? What are the implications if you're not? As opposed to trying to remove something that is what these children have grown up with, call it digital citizens or digital natives. I'm slightly cautious around that word, but they have grown up having access and increasingly that's gonna be the way. So it'd be like saying you've got to remove your right arm or your left arm for me. So I think that's gonna create more conflict and more disengagement as opposed to deliberate use and deliberate not using of technology, if that's a, a useful phrase. Because um, that's the key bits for me, is when do we choose to use it? How do we choose to use it? What are the implications of when we use it? And deliberate, deliberate times when we're not using it. Yeah. I can foresee a time when there is, and I've certainly heard of some schools starting to say, all right, actually, get your technology out, use whatever it is you've got in front of you, and yes, understand the, the privacy and security and where they're going to bits, but that's part of the digital citizenship for me. This is how we're gonna use it. You, you use it in whichever way is best to augment your learning. Now, it's now break time, uh, play time, whatever you call it, recess time. Put the device away, go out and play, and have conversations with your, the other students, with teachers. So I think there's real opportunities there. I've heard some that, that give them them back for the, uh, for the break times. I think we just need to switch that around. Anyway, interested to hear your thoughts.